Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this cantilever truss by method of sections. I have analyzed the same truss by method of joints. You can click the link in the description and watch the video. In the cantilever trusses, we have to be very careful. When we make the sections, we should not take the portion near the fixed end. Suppose if we make a section like this, we should not take this part, only we take the right side portion because in the left side we have the fixed end. In this truss, I am going to make the first section like this and I am going to take the right side portion and do the analysis. We need to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us use the tan theta formula. We know that tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. In this way, we can find the theta to be 26.56. Let us take a moment about C. Let us keep clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative. When we take a moment about C, we should not consider FAC. The remaining forces are 10 and FAB. 10 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. FAP is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 1.5. For FAB, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0. 10 is acting downwards so that it will be negative. FAC is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 90 minus. 26.56 we will get 63.44 degree since FAC is acting downwards it will be negative and we have to multiply with the cos 63.44 finally for FAC we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now I am going to make the second section like this and I am going to take this part and do the analysis let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0. FBC is acting upwards so that it will be positive. 10 is acting downwards so it will be negative. Finally for FBC we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. FCD and FAB are acting towards the left side so both of them are negative. We have already found FAB 20 and it is tensile. Let us apply that. Finally, for FCD, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, I am going to make the third section like this. And I am going to take the right side portion and do the analysis. We have to find this angle. By using tan theta formula, we can find the angle to be 26.56. Let us take a moment about E. When we take a moment about E, we should not consider FBE. The remaining forces are FCD, FBD and 10. 10 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. FCD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. About the point E, FBD is not perpendicular. We can resolve FBD with respect to BE or with respect to DE. I am going to resolve it with respect to DE. To make FBD perpendicular to DE, we have to keep FBD horizontal. To keep it horizontal, we need 26.56 degree. Now about the point E, FBD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. Then we have to multiply with cos 26.56. We know the value of FCD 20 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply that as negative. Minus 20 into 3 will be minus 60. 60 minus 60, it will be 0. In this way for FBD, we will get 0. Now let us take a moment about D. If this angle is 26.56, this angle also should be 26.56. 
when we take a moment about a d we should not consider fcd fbd anyway fbd is zero the remaining forces are fbe and 10 10 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 about d fbe is not perpendicular it is inclined about de we can resolve fbe we have to keep it horizontal to keep it horizontal we need 26.56 degree now about the point d fbe is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3 and we have to multiply with the cos 26.56 for fbe we will get a positive value that means it is tensile alternatively we can apply this rule and find fbe fbd is a zero so no need to consider that we have to make fbe vertical to make it vertical we need 63.44 degree since it is acting upwards it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 63.44 10 is acting downwards so it will be negative finally for fbe we will get 22.36 and it is tensile here i have tabulated all of the member forces now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video